Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. Got a quick Tech Tuesday video for you guys, something that I haven't shown before. Uh, I have on the G4, but not on the Hawker, and that is the aft equipment area, or the uh, so-called hell hole on these airplanes. Uh, I think they're called that because they get really hot up in there and nobody likes to get inside. Uh, in the back of the airplane, it's that hatch right there, you can open it up and you can climb up inside there. That's where the APU is accessed. There's all kinds of hydraulic and electrical and pneumatic stuff going on up in there. It's really tight quarters, but there's a lot of stuff happening up inside there. So I thought I'd show you guys what it looks like. Uh, like I said, I've shown the G4 one before. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll put a link in the description below. Send you guys over to the G4 one. You can do a little comparison between the two. Uh, this one, you'll notice that you can't even really stand up and you got to crawl up underneath there to get it to it. Uh, where the G4, you can, you know, stand up and it actually has a ladder that you have to climb up inside. So uh, that's the first big difference. Uh, the next thing you'll notice is we have these big red covers right here. Those are actually the engine covers for this airplane. Uh, there's a nice handy storage place right there for them. We don't use them too often on this airplane. If there's a lot of debris or if there's snow or something like that, then we will pull those out and stick them on the engines. But uh, typically we're just sitting for one night, so it's not a whole lot of use to put them on there every night. So uh, let's take a look up inside there, I'll climb up in and uh, have, let you guys have a look. Uh, there is a light up in there, so luckily you guys should get a nice view of it. So let's go have a peek. All right, there's the light switch. Oh, it's tight. All right, right now you guys are looking forward. I'm looking back in the airplane and you can tell my head is up against the wall right here. There's not much room to really move around at all. Uh, over here we've got some hydraulic equipment. Up here above us, this is the APU enclosure. So that's where that thing lives. Imagine trying to change that thing out, right? Not fun. Over here, the big red canister. There's our air, uh, fire extinguisher. For the APU. If we ever got a fire inside the casing, we could uh, blow that and get it to go out, hopefully. All these big pipes are typically going to be pneumatic, high pressure air coming and going. These are going to be the batteries, or two of the batteries anyway. This thing has a lot of batteries in it, as you can see. Number one, number two. Tons and tons of equipment all over the place. To be honest, I know a whole lot more about the G4's equipment and what is what and what does what than the Hawker, so I'm, I'm still kind of learning all of these various uh, servos and actuators and such, so I'm going to have to get up in here with a manual to learn all this stuff, but I've been in here for all of about 30 seconds now and I'm sweating. It's hot and, the, and nothing's on even. It's just sitting here sitting idle on the ramp, so yeah. But anyway, this is the uh, aft equipment area. You can see we got some cables here as well. This one's going to be the elevator, I believe. Yeah, that's going to be your elevator, possibly the trim. One more peek around. So that's about it. Whole lot of stuff in here. A whole lot of stuff that nobody knows what it is unless you're an AMP that works on these things on a daily basis. But uh, yeah, a lot of important equipment. So hopefully you guys learned a little something that uh, maybe you didn't know about the Hawker. Comparison between the G4 and the Hawker perhaps. So uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys on the next Tech Tuesday. See ya.